So what the heck is a quick hitch anyway, and why are these better than the competition? Find out in today's video. Folks, how we doing? I am super excited. I love it. Love it when we release new products. And we have our Fast Cat, our GWT Fast Cat 1 Quick Hitch. Now the GWT Fast Cat 2 is not here yet, but it's gonna look just like this, but made for Cat 2 tractors. So let's go through this today. We've long recommended the Speco Quick Hitch. Great Quick Hitch, all right? Been on the market, been on all of our tractors for the last several years at least, maybe longer than that. We've been selling these for a long time and for good reason, a lot of great qualities about them that we've gone over, but there were some things that we couldn't control because we didn't own Speco. I know some of you thought we did, but we didn't. I don't like not controlling things, and so we did something about it, and it took a while, things normally do, but here you are, you're gonna see it. These are from the first batch of our own production quick hitch, and I am gonna tell you all about it, the improvements that we've made, and why it's the best quick hitch on the market. And again, I wanna reiterate, in case you didn't hear me the first time, this is not a bad quick hitch. The Speco is a very good quick hitch. Still recommend it. Think it's good, but again, we want to control what we can, and you're going to see that with Good Works Tractors, every part of our business, where we can take control of whether it's the manufacturing process or if we can improve uh, a product in general or even our customer service or the way of doing business on our website. We're never going to just sit on our heels and just be content with the way things are. We want to always be better than everybody else out there and do what we can to control that. So what the heck does a quick hitch actually do? Well, it makes hooking up and disconnecting from three-point attachments a lot easier. And, you know, there are some small light attachments that you can hook up to the three-point and it's not the end of the world, right? But I'm telling you, if you change out or if you have a lot of rear attachments, it just saves so much time. And they are the best-selling product that we have by far. Quick hitches are sold by volume, probably, I don't know, five to eight times, maybe 10 times more than any other product that we sell. They're, they're incredibly popular, they're incredibly useful. And again, with the versatility of adding ballast weight on the side too, um, on top of just being ballast weight and making life easier, we're gonna show you later in this video how easy it is just to put those hooks right underneath an attachment and connect to that thing. And then when you wanna disconnect, if you think about it ahead of time too, you can pull these levers open and then it's just ready to drop down on the ground in place wherever you're gonna put it. I mean, it really saves a lot of headache, a lot of time. There's been a lot of hot summer days or even cold weather in the winter where you're, you're, you're either sweating to death and you're frustrated or you're, you're freezing and your hands are hurting and you just want the dumb thing to hook up with a regular three point where you get set up with a quick hitch and quick hitch compatible equipment. Man, don't take my word for it, folks. Those of you that have a quick hitch already, would you please let folks know in the comments what you think about it, if it's really worth it or not. Now, one of the most critical features of a good quick hitch, in my opinion, is a direct pin fitment on these lower links, all right? And that's what you have here, just like on the Speco, and that's just about it on the market. I think uh, Kubota does have one. Kubota's quick, or Lamp Ride, that quick hitch is, uh, what, five, 600 bucks, folks? You tell me, it's, a, it's astronomical. So this is darn near half the price. But uh, you're gonna have that, so no bushings required. You don't need to put a bushing up here. This is oversized on purpose, just to make it a little bit easier to, to slide down in there and fit in place. Never used a bushing on the top link, you don't need to, and no bushings required on the bottom links either. And bonus info for you, when we have our Cat 2, that'll be coming in early 2025. Gonna be the only one on the market with an adjustable top hook. All the other Cat 2s are welded in place. Still gonna have fast change pins, gonna include the top link pin, and it's also gonna be direct pin fitment. You're gonna, not gonna need bushings, the only one on the market for a Cat 2 that does not use bushings on the hooks. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. Okay, so without further ado, let's go over the most obvious difference in our Fast Cat 1 Quick Hitch versus the Speco, and that's gonna be the color. And now, since the very beginning of time, the very first batch that we had of the Speco Cat 1 Quick Hitch was black, okay? It was this Quick Hitch, but black. And that was a manufacturing error from Speco. Yep. And so from that point on, after we went through that initial 
batch of black, we had red quick hitches, and I have asked for years, years, to get black, and then to get green. And then the company was sold, and then I asked the new owners, can we get black, can we get green, can we get something besides red? People, people don't want red, they beg us. They tell us that they won't buy a quick hitch from us unless we can give it to them in another color. Eventually, Spico came out with those other colors, but that was, that was too late for us at that point. We were already down the road of doing something about it after, after asking for so many years, so much time. And so we'd already gone down the path of coming out with our own quick hitch that was black and green. And who knows, maybe we offer one in orange or blue, or maybe we have a limited run of red for folks that actually want one for a red tractor, but the vast majority don't have red and they don't want it. So you're gonna see the majority are black that we offer. We have a limited edition in green right now, a limited quantity of those. Um, that leads us to the second point is that we buy these by the container, all right? These are uh, sourced overseas in India, all right? So a nice difference getting away from made in China. You still have to be a, um, in a low cost manufacturing center. And we tried multiple ways to get these manufactured in the US. If you wanted to pay at least double the price, probably more than that to get the same product, we could have gone that route and getting it manufactured in the USA, but there was just no way to get an affordable price competitive product made in the USA and compete on the same quick hitch level. And so that's why we went to India. Now that said, we are using a manufacturer who has already been supplying John Deere, Caterpillar, um, and a couple of other companies too in the US with all sorts of components for their machinery, both on the agricultural side and the construction side too. So this is a top tier supplier for those manufacturers. And so we're very confident with them. And it's um, not the first product we've got from them, but it's the, the most, this isn't even complex, but this is the most complex product that we've got from them so far. And so what does that mean? Obviously these look very similar and they need to. Part of the requirement of a quick hitch is to be standardized both with the the quick hitch side of things and then the attachment side of things you have to fit within a certain parameter certain dimensions left to right certain dimensions up and down in order to make the whole system work and so every attachment out there is not quick hitch compatible but the vast majority are uh, you will sometimes see foreign companies that don't realize the importance or the value of being quick hitch compatible because in europe for example they're really not a thing. And I think that's gonna change over the next five to 10 years. They're gonna become a lot more uh, prevalent over there. But, and then there's other cheaper manufacturers, perhaps that don't put the R&D into it or the research of, of any kind, uh, just to realize that this is a beneficial factor. So when you're manufacturing something, it's not hard. It's not gonna drive up the cost to make something quick kitchen compatible. You just have to put the the components in the right locations. And so a couple of the other reasons that we chose to go with this manufacturer is they were, well, they take a lot of pride in their workmanship. And you'll be able to notice that too with both improved weld quality. Uh, there's quite a few sections that are welded together. So you're gonna see improved weld quality across the board as well as improved paint quality across the board too. And so we're really happy with that improvement. And it might seem like it's minor, but you know, we wanted to level up every aspect of this quick hitch that we could. And so we're, we're happy to see that as an improvement. Okay, so for the rest of the improvements, they're all kind of up in this area here. And so if we start with the handles, number one, our, our grip is gonna be a little bit longer. It's a little bit nicer to use. So it's a, a bit of an improvement there. Uh, the pin that goes through here connecting the handle, okay, to the latch assembly is actually a little bit longer. That was something that we struggle with once in a while in shipment because these things do bounce around. We pack them in really well in a box and, and expandable foam and everything else. But even so, these pins on the Spicos, they're a little bit shorter and so they don't, they would fall out once in a while. And so we'd have to send out replacement pins if folks couldn't find them in their packaging or that kind of thing. So I think we're gonna reduce that slight headache um, by having this slightly longer pin here too. And then two really cool things that are right on the center hook area, all right, number one, the Spico does not come standard with a top link pin, all right? Ours does. This is included now, it's about a $20 value. And then we include quick change or fast change pins for your top hook. You're gonna notice all the different holes here because that is one of the variables, I wish it wasn't, but it is within the specification of being quick hitch compatible, this height from the lower hook to the upper hook on your three point can be flexible within about a three inch range. And so you have additional holes while most attachments do line up with this bottom set of holes, 
you may need to adjust it up and down if you have um, various attachments from different manufacturers that go with a different design element. You're gonna notice on that Spico, we paid a bunch of money to get some fast change pins because they normally come with a bolt that you need to wrench it off, or two bolts, I should say, to, to wrench them off. Here, we're including these fast change pins, about a $30 value on there. As far as warranty goes, you're gonna have a two-year warranty on the FastCat through Goodworks Tractors versus a one-year warranty on the Spico. Weight, pretty similar, 70 pounds on the Spico versus 72, so it's a little bit heavier on the GWT FastCat. And again, think of this as like a, uh, a suitcase weight, a 70 pound suitcase weight, it is, it helps. It's a start in the right direction on getting your ballast weight. And of course, on that note too, these are compatible with our hitch hangers that we offer, another GWT exclusive. So you can mount those on either corner. We actually took them off, that's why you see a few uh, scuff marks on here, just to show you the quick hitch a little bit better. But hitch hangers, you can put up to six 70 pound suitcase weights, three on either side. So that keeps the three point open to be able to still use a box blade, a, a rake, a mower, whatever the heck you want on here and get some additional ballast weight for stability. And we're actually gonna put this fast cat on our Coyote. We just got it out here. So I figured we'd show you how to do that in a video. Really easy to do. You, you put it on just like another three point attachment essentially, but it helps to visualize that. And so we'll take you through it right now. Now a quick hitch is really one of the products that every tractor should have on it. I mean, they are so handy and I don't, essentially I don't buy attachments unless they are quick hitch compatible. The exception to that rule would be a flail mower, which our Del Marino Funny Top is now quick hitch compatible. So that takes care of that. And then what else? A post hole digger, you don't use a top link because you tie in the post hole digger right to that. So you can't use a quick hitch with that. But beyond that, use a quick hitch for everything. And, and I mean, you go back through our, our videos, you won't, you struggle to find a video without a quick hitch on it. I, I can say that pretty confidently. All right, so something that I wanna point out, all right? We get a lot of questions about, will this work on my tractor? So if you have a category one three-point hitch, like what you have on this Coyote, for example, and pretty much all one through four series tractors are category one, you will start to see some exceptions when you get to cat, or I'm sorry, to series four, like uh, the John Deere four series, uh, the Kubota Grand L series, but actually our Coyote DK that I've got inside the barn there came out with cat two endlings on it. We actually swapped those out for cat one. Um, it's just a cat, a compact tractor is really gonna use cat one size attachments. So having cat two on there just doesn't make a whole lot of sense, generally speaking. But um, what you're looking for is your, the ball end, okay? This is the ball end of your three point arm. The diameter, okay? All the way across here has to be narrow enough to fit inside this pocket. This whole ball end here has to fit. It's gotta be narrow enough to fit in between these two pieces of steel. A category two will not fit in between here. And so that's why it won't work. There's exceptions to every rule and that's why we put the diagrams in the listing because you're gonna see some cat one, cat two quick hitches or um, three point hitches. You're gonna see some utility tractors, large compacts that will have a category two on here which is uh, the inside opening where the pin goes through that's size for a category one, but you'll see some that are sized for a category two that are still narrow enough to fit inside a cat one. So you could put a sleeve on, on here. You can make it work, all right? But the, you can't make it work if this ball end is too wide to fit in this gap, all right? That's the critical component. I like to point that out anytime we do a quick hitch video because I can understand why it would be confusing, but I see, I think visualizing it just helps make it make more sense. And so I'm gonna pick this up and you're gonna see, it's gonna slide right over, right over there. Okay, so it fits, all right? Fits, fits right on there and I'll just kind of rest it on here a little bit. And then uh, actually we'll put the top link on first cause that'll help give a little bit of stability. Okay, and again, same thing with the top link. This, this is a ball that's inside there, okay? That swivels around. That's how you get some flexibility when the attachment is being used. It's got to fit down in there. A cat two will not fit down in that slot, okay? So get that in there. Boom, uh, there's our pin, put that through. Actually stole the top link pin that this came with and used it on something else. So that's why 
I'm just using a, another one, but they will all come with the top link pin. And then I'm going to just pick this side up, put it through. You can see how this little lip that's on here just kind of helps hold that in place. And then I'll just pin it down there. Then I'll lift this side up so you don't have to hold 72 pounds in the air really for very long. Put that one through because you're, you know, it's supported by so many other points. And that's easy. And you're going to notice something else I pointed out too. You don't always want to put this as low to the ground as possible when you're um, hooking it up. I, I don't know why exactly. I've just found that raising the three point up so it's kind of level. Those arms are almost level or close to it. Tends to make it the easiest, I don't know, location to hook up your, your quick hitch on there. But really, now that this thing's on here, I doubt I'm ever gonna take it off. Um, the Speedco stayed on here since I bought the tractor. That was the first time I've taken that off and this probably will stay on here from now on too. So unless there's a, unless I put an attachment on that's not quick hitch compatible, which is so few and far between. So anyway, that's what it is folks. One of the few items that and Shoot, show them the VersaForks. That's, this is one of our other products too. This is one of the other few products besides a quick hitch that I would say every tractor needs. A set of pallet forks, you use them for so many things. Nobody ever regrets buying a set of pallet forks. What sets our forks apart is the fact that these can mount on the front end loader or on the three point hitch, either one. Okay, with the same set of forks so that opens up the versatility. Say you wanna, um, still move things around with pallet forks, but you have a grapple or a bucket. You need that too. Say you're going all the way across your property, you wanna have a way to stack some more stuff on there and take it with you. It just gives you flexibility, not to mention they've got a two inch receiver, uh, the, the, the gooseneck mover up top, chain hooks down here. We're coming out with other attachments for this too. We're coming out with a, uh, an add a record that goes on here. We're coming out with a grapple, um, quite a few things. We're gonna get a headache rack on here is optional too, all sorts of stuff. So these, this frame, 100% made in America. The tines are imported, but the frame, 100% US steel and labor. And of course, quick hitch compatible on the backside too. Now let's show you how this thing actually works. Let's go hook it up to an attachment and see how easy it is to do. All right, so we got that hooked up just fine. I forgot how, man, how nice it is to have a hydraulic top link because that's the one thing, when you get back there and you hook up your lower links, sometimes that top link, depending on how it's sitting on the ground, you know, this plane of your quick hitch isn't always exactly what it is on your attachment. And so having a hydraulic top link allows you to do that right from the operator seat. I'm just pushing a handle forward or backwards to extend or retract that top link there to line up perfectly. Of course, if you didn't have a hydraulic top link, you just get out and adjust, you know, you lengthen or shorten manually your top link on there. Um, you need a rear remote and then you need the hydraulic top link. All right, so if you wanna get either one of those, if your tractor doesn't have it, go to Summit Hydraulics website. You're gonna use code GWT. They're one of our discount club partners. Basically, they're just vendors that uh, we partner with to go buy directly on their website, uh, products that we believe in, but we don't, necessarily want to carry all the inventory so it works out great you get a discount we get get a commission then because of that discount code and then you get the product at a lower price you get full manufacturer support yada 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 so that's what you see here multiplier on there if you want that uh, third functions all that kind of stuff at some hydraulics okay so now we got that hooked up you don't even have to open these handles to hook it up these will essentially detent in and allow the pin to slide down in there but they're not gonna come out unless you pull the handle open. Don't worry, nothing's gonna fall out right now. But this is what I mean when I mentioned earlier that uh, if you think about it, when you're off your tractor, you know, open those handles. That way, when you wanna go back and set it down, maybe you're switching attachments, right? You wanna uh, 
take this one out and then go hook up to something else, you can do that without one extra step of getting out of the tractor. So we've done that. We'll go ahead and set it down. And then uh, that's the process of hooking up and unhooking. But there's, you can see there's, you don't have to pull a pin out of each three point arm and try to prop it up to get the weight off because it's jammed in there. I'm telling you, man, if you, especially with the larger, the larger and heavier that you get with attachments, the more of a pain and time consuming. And um, it, it almost gets to the point where you don't want to do it. And so you just put it off until maybe another day just because it's a pain to do. So anyway, there we go. Lower it down. Good to go. Bada bang. All right, old cameraman there, Chris, my brother, smarter than me. Thought we should demonstrate something that isn't a clevis style like on that lamp lane. So this is a pretty common setup for your uh, your lower pins as well. Give you a little bit better visual there. This is our HD to Thatcher. Well, not ours. I mean, we sell it by CMP. Great piece of equipment. Give me a workout dragging it over here. I had it stored just sideways there. Somehow I don't have enough room. Anyway, we're gonna hook up to this and just show you again how easy it is to do. Different attachments, different manufacturers. Same process. Okay. Now see, we may be at a different angle here with our top link pin and all the other stuff. I always try to line up that top link pin. Oop. Extend that out. See, I'm pushing the attachment a little bit too. I'm not, I'm not too afraid. Now here, watch this, okay? You can do this with a lot of attachments. Hang on, safety first. Got to put this in parking brake and neutral and everything else. Now this will happen, and I don't care. Sometimes you want to go through and just make sure it's lined up right away, but it's really easy to get leverage and just uh, and get that pin to go in there. And so what you could do is you could open this up. We're going to try it without opening that up. I've done this with box blades, land planes, rakes, well, basically every attachment that you put on a three-point. But just pick up on the opposite side. Okay, so this one doesn't want to go through, probably because it's not enough weight, but all you gotta do is that and, and get it in there. But uh, it's, it's really easy. You're not lifting up a lot of weight then on the opposite side. Most of it's supported already. Give a little wiggle and there you go. But let me tell you, that is way easier than hooking up to a regular three-point and then having to take it back off Watch, I wonder if we can do this just with it uh, here. My toes are out of the way. These coyotes have this external three-point control on the back, really nice. Undo that, undo that. Boom, disconnected. That's, you know, come on. That's awesome, love that. Anyway, GWT exclusive, the Fast Cat One Quick Hitch, all right? Go to goodworkstractors.com or tractortools.com. Takes you to the same place. You get that, you get all sorts of tractor tools for your tractor. Well, we sell stuff for ATVs, UTVs, skid steers as well. But our bread and butter is attachments. All these products that you see out here are things that we've done videos on and then some. Well, I guess we don't have any video on that Genesis seed drill. I use that this year though. Planted, planted my corn, planted my Swiss grass. That's gonna take three years, they say. It's coming in pretty good. I'm getting off track. Beautiful day out right now. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.